sorry that we are not the weather. I have to come in the next flight. It's less than 11 o'clock, 11 30 in fact, and I reached there about half an hour back, and there were two meetings that I did on some other projects. Basically, there were two health related projects for me. One from the Ministry of Science, Bangalore, along with the IITIS. And so, I'm sure the workshop would have had a very good attendance in the morning. I believe about 120 people participated. Uh, this area is very important. The whole issue of the uh, IoT connected to the healthcare systems and uh, pervasive com computing and communication and the wireless sensor networks. These are the basic trust areas as regards the IoT and the, you know, you can, there are different levels of GPS, IoT, and pervasive communication. These are very important areas and uh, they have been dealt very well with the IIT and the Ministry of Science. IIT Delhi Professor Vyas has done a wonderful job on the body area network. So, and uh, one was from Sanjeeva Prasad. I don't know whether you could make it in the morning. He was there. I don't see him. Uh, okay, Sanjeeva is there. Yeah, Sanjeeva also has done a wonderful job. And that is uh, along with the UX collaboration. Uh, our department has started this uh, project uh, one and a half year back with a collaboration from NSF funding. So there is an international scaling of the project also and we look forward for uh, such type of international uh, collaboration with other countries and where this kind of work is going on in the healthcare system and communication systems together <laughs> to the integration is possible. And, uh, 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 from the government, I would say that uh, we are uh, having uh, grants for innovative projects and we are funding these projects at various institutions. So we look forward for you know, a collaborative kind of effort between the institutes and industry, academy, and linkage is also very important. So all the projects will see the uh, light of the day by being transferred to the industry for the benefit of the community. So with these words, I would uh, you know, request the government to also add on to the idea of this. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, unfortunately, I also could not make it for this uh, workshop. So I had a talk. Uh, I had some few thoughts over uh, IoT, actually. I wanted to call out IoT because I think now IoT is a buzzword which is now it is old. People are talking about IOE because in a medical domain, I feel that it's not only the devices which get connected, but even a lot of data processes and people are getting connected. So today, people talk about IOE rather than IOT. And uh, I was there during the end of this workshop, and some of the some of them I, mean, I had an opportunity to just to some of the doctors. And uh, one thing I realized that as an engineer we could do a lot of things. And then I had realized earlier also, earlier I was working on PACS, where we had a picture, archival and community system, specifically for medical applications. Doctors basically, whenever it comes to processing, they don't take it for granted. I mean, if you say that there's some kind of a compression, even if there is no tumor, they start feeling that there's a tumor. So that's a problem. So but what I said that what is important, there is a lot of advancements in sensor and communication connecting technology, but we need to do a lot of work in data mining because if all these data and processes and devices are going to get connected and all this is going to be available on the cloud, what is more important is basically that this discipline will move away more from the electronics and the biomedical, but also we should get a lot of effort, I mean we should have a lot of involvement of computer scientists, because a lot of data mining would be required to interpret that data. <coughs> so, as far as data mining is concerned, I feel that there's a lot of, I don't see a lot of work in this direction, and the signal processing work also which is being done in this area is on a very peripheral level. What is happening basically is that whatever signal processing work is available, 
on the in the offline that you know, those are algorithms are being coded to this IoT, but this is not true. For example, if you take ECG signal, if you are a person, if a patient in an ambulance, and if you try to acquire this ECG signal, there is a lot of motion artifacts. So a lot of challenges are there in signal processing domain, which basically should take care of like this kind of artifacts. So both signal processing and data mining has a lot of opportunities as far as IoT for the care is So thank you very much. Any questions from the audience regarding any policy matters or funding matters? Any questions? Thank you. 